welcome to my channel this is moody please subscribe and also click the notification button so that each time I post a new video you are related so today's lesson i'll be taking through the planes and also sections and also directions which are involved in anatomy because this will be helpful as you'll be studying in anatomy minus you understanding this it will be hard for you to understand anatomy so this is just a revision of what i was telling you in another video the regions which i was telling you how you study anatomy so you start with the upper limb upper limbs then next lower limb then thorax as you can see those colors then abdomen then the perineum then the neck then the head and neck that's how you move about in studying anatomy so now let's go to let's go now into looking at planes so planes are just uh, the way you cut a human being or whatever you're studying for better understanding so like this you cut a human being at the middle the, with a median plane so which is called just uh, the sagittal plane just divide a person into a left and uh, right that's what you need to know just left and right so this is a division then the other way it is called frontal frontal just divides the person into what anterior the front part then here at the back when you cut the person in that direction that is what we call a posterior then when it comes to transverse you are just cutting the person in this form so there will be superior part then there's also an inferior part i'll explain about these terms what they mean here just know how the planes are applied that's what i want you to understand then as i move on i'll explain now these terms and the language which is involved so now when it comes to sections you need to know also sections how you cut a person so like this one this is longitudinal in this direction coming from up down so easy understanding i'll explain also in a better in a better picture so then this is what we call oblique As you can see it is not long it is not cut in this direction oh sorry this is oblique oblique then this is that's something like this you see then you see from the top uh -huh. so this photo i think it explains much better so this is an egg as you can see so the reason why we are cutting things we want to see things closely so that you can have an understanding of how that thing is as you are studying it you will encounter this especially in embryology because you might find that they just cut an embryo on top so that you do a study or in that direction whatever you are studying so that you better you have a better understanding as you are studying so this is the midline you are cutting something from the middle then you'll be going this way look at be going this side then i want you to be observing what you'll be seeing so like when you cut something on the middle this is an egg which is bored for instance when you cut it at the center the yolk will look bigger then also the other part you see so this part which you are seeing yeah when you move this when now you see from this direction this is what you see also then when you move slightly uh away from the midline this is the point now where we are look at the yolk will seem to be what to be smaller and also look at the, the other part also seems to what to be smaller so meaning that as you be going further away from the midline what will happen in reach and extend your by a yoke will no longer be seen like this part this is it now just at the lateral you just cut it from this side the yoke won't be seen because the yoke just ends from this side and this gives you an understanding a better understanding as you are studying anatomy same when you apply this on top also when you are going on top as you are cutting your egg this is what you observe observing also you reach an extent whereby you no longer do what see a yolk so now what do we call these cuts this is transverse when you cut it at the center then when you move also on a bit on top also so called transverse uh -huh. then uh when you move further that is tangential just like a tangent more like a tangent from what tangent same applies with this one this one is longitudinal section then also the other one is longitudinal section yeah, but a better term you better say a bit of a uh, medium medium i explain also anyway from now on uh, from this point you can just know that okay it's also uh a long time, you know, let me not confuse you but this one is tangential because even other parts are no longer what seen same applies to cubes also the same might happen look at these are the cells so you cut this from its hands cut your longitude you know you're able to see the cells you see but when you cut it in a transverse look at how the cells look up here you can see then this is oblique when you cut like this these are the cells how they will look then tangential look at even the hole is not what seen but in these parts the hole was what seen so those are the difference it will make sense as you start looking at histology and other parts so now let's dive in and looking at the anatomical position so these are the opposites 
and uh, well, how they apply. So you need to understand this. So a person in anatomy, you need to understand that is viewed in this form. This is how a person is what? You look at the hands and you to pay attention to the hands or the way they look. This is how a person is what? Viewed. So when I'm looking at this person, uh, left is my right. My left is my right. Is, her right is her opposite. Huh? So now when it comes to anatomical position, why do we use anatomical position? It is important to understand that uh, we need to be precise. For instance, you say that this person has a pimple on the face. Where is it exactly? So it won't be easy for you to do what? To spot it out by just seeing the face. Because the face is inside. How I know that it's the left or right? The face is this side and the other side. But with the help of these anatomical directional terms, it helps us to locate points more precise. So I explain in using uh, those diagrams. So at the moment, you can just know this. The opposite of that is that I'll explain now so that you have an understanding of what I mean. So when, when we say proximal, Proximal, so here you need to understand the trunk. There's a trunk. We are moving away from the trunk. Uh, that is called uh, when you are moving away towards the trunk, it is called proximal. Away from the trunk, it is what? It is to hopefully you can just read through this at your free time. But for better understanding, let us just look at a bone. A bone will explain much better. So, like here, for instance, a bone, there's a way it, it does what? Uh, it, uh, connects with other parts also. So this is the proximal part of the bone, then this is a distal part of the bone. Then this side of the bone is called medial because it is near the midline. Also, when you close your legs, also, then this one is a lateral part of the what? Of the bone. That's what it means because it is away from the what? The midline. Then uh, for other terms, so I've explained what medial, lateral, proximal, or distal, what it means with the help of this. So it applies to each and every body part. Let it be a muscle, whatever. This will give you a better understanding. Then the other terms, this is what they mean. The other terms, these are the, what they mean. As you can see, when you say isolateral, this is what they mean. Then contralateral, this is what they mean. These terms, you encounter them, you need to know. Then for the other terms, I'll use the skin, for instance, for superior and uh, deep. So superior just means up, but inferior means down. So meaning that this one is more superior, then this is what? Deep. That's all. Then, but when you're comparing this part and the other part, this part will say that it is inferior, then this one is superior. So just superior is upward, then inferior just below it. So you can say that the epidemis is superior to what? The demis. The demis is inferior to what? Demis. Epidemis. This is how you come to understand your medical language. Then when it comes to movement, these are the movements. When you are away from the midline, going this side, that is extension, then friction. You, and you see them like this one. Also, the other one, those are the examples. Same with the hands. That's what you need to know. Once you have this understanding, it will be easy for you to understand the anatomy and you won't face challenges. So, subscribe so that you don't miss out the next video which I have for you guys. Because soon I'll be posting another video going into details for specific topics now. So, don't miss out.